Okay guys, for your banded feet elevated supine hip bridge march, you're gonna wrap a mini band around the feet. You wanna dorsiflex those feet throughout the entire exercise, that way the band doesn't come off. Okay, so from here, feet are on top of the bench, lying down. What you wanna do is take a big breath in the belly. Exhale, pull rib cage down to belt buckle, belt buckle up to rib cage. And you should feel your lower back drive against the ground or be flat. You wanna try and maintain this position throughout the course of your lift or your exercise. Don't let that lower back arch because you'll be cranky on it. Okay, so from here, drive the arms, backs of the arms into the ground. Go ahead into that hip bridge position. Slight bend in the knees. And then from here, I'm going to drive my right heel down to the bench and bring my left knee towards my chest. You want to get greater than 90 degrees with the hip flexion and then back down. So the key here is not letting the hip sag or rotate. So you want good core stability here. And again, maintain that good uh, posterior pelvic tilt. As soon as you come out of it and your rib cage goes up or your belly goes up, you know you're cranking on that lower back. <sighs> 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 Guys, that's your banded feet elevated supine hip bridge.